you know, I was going to make a little vi list video about the games I'm anticipating for, but uh, when this happened, I honestly felt the need to talk about it, because gaming journalism should be taken out back and put an old yellow on, because the idea of them having any epics anymore is laughable. So, for those who don't know, the EU and UK PlayStation Store, for a very short time, had the Fallout 4 Season Pass for completely free. Now this wasn't something that Bethesda planned, nor was it something that Sony planned. It was a glitch in the system that if you went to a certain page, you would get the season pass for nothing. Now I could easily talk about how this is sort of a bit um, of a problem because people can go there and basically get the product for absolutely nothing and it kind of feels like taking someone's wallet from the ground and all that. But <laughs> websites like uh, Eurogamer and GamesRadar um, would rather feel the need to exploit this rather than actually reporting it. They made a few posts and articles basically saying that, uh, oh yeah, this happened. But the main focus of it was, go to this link and actually get the product. It was more a case of promoting people to go there and get what was essentially an unplanned glitched <laughs> break in the system. Even Tom Phillips, the writer for the Eurogamer article, stated that it was probably a glitch and that Sony would rectify it, and yet still promoted people to go there, and even left a link to go to the page so that people didn't have to rush around looking for it. People would ask, what's the big deal about it? It's just them talking about um, the glitch and then giving people the opportunity to go and get the game for free. Well. We've been talking about the whole thing of gaming ethics for pretty much a year and a half now, and yet this sort of loss of it, this sort of pushing that aside for clickbait, is still very much active. To the point where there is no real need to try and save anymore. It is officially fucked. Take it out back, put a bullet in its head, and be done with it. And I know people are going to say that I'm being a bit dramatic and that it's just a glitch and why am I being dramatic and all that. People are going to take free stuff. And yeah, people will take uh, the opportunity to get a free stuff. But what this is, is finding a person's wallet on the ground, picking it up, taking the money, then going home and then actually presenting the credit card of that said person online for everyone to see. That's what this is, and I want to thank NerdCube for that som somewhat um, example, because he was the one that actually got me to look at this up. <sighs> the point being is that if they really wanted to be supposed ethical and support a report about this, you would have thought they would have waited until the glitch was over and then maybe looked it up, sort of got a few bits of news, because even they said, um, like Tom Phillips says, we have contacted PlayStation to see if they would allow people to keep the freebie. Fuck you, were the, you were the people that were giving it to people. You were the people that were just throwing it out just so you can get a few views and a few bit of cash on your, uh, <laughs> your paycheck. It's, you would think that if there were still supposedly sort of and uh, this is the whole thing about the whole Gorka thing at this point. Um, the Gorka Hulk Hogan trial is whether or not we should really be exploiting people, uh, exploiting certain things for views. Uh, should, uh, should we exploit the Hulk Hogan sex take for views? Should we exploit um, the PlayStation glitch for views? And personally, I think it, we shouldn't. Um, but then again, this is going to be all a case that's always going to happen. And that's probably why the whole idea of just focusing on games journalism and the ethics in it is completely pointless at this point. And that's why I've personally felt that it's time to take it out uh, and shoot it in the back of its head. That's just my ramble. I uh, hope you enjoyed I'll I'll try and make a better video next time. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this ramble. Maybe I'll make more of them. Uh, so that's it. Here's the, um, you know, that's... Uh, Entitled credit f thumbnail thing. Fuck you. I don't know anymore.